This is officially the spiciest pepper in the world. It can literally make you cry. And this pepper did not grow in nature. It was created by this man. And it's much more than spicy. This pepper actually saved this guy's life. It made him rich and it's now helping him fight cancer. How is that even possible? In South Carolina, USA, I introduce you to Ed. Hello, Nas Daily. I'm smoking Ed Curry and I created the spiciest pepper in the world. Ed was addicted to alcohol, and the one way he could quit alcohol was by eating spicy peppers. I got so addicted to growing peppers, I grew them in all my neighbors' backyards. Every day, he would wake up at 4 a.m., go to his greenhouse, put his hands in the dirt, and start experimenting with pepper plants. The harder he would make them, the less he would think about alcohol. It made me feel good, it filled up my time, it gave me energy, and it just took away all the bad things out of my life. At some point, Ed had so many peppers lying around his house that his wife suggested he start a hot sauce business. And that is how peppers saved his life and made him rich. My company, Pucker Butt Pepper Company, makes the hottest all-natural sauces in the world. No chemicals, no additives. Ed kept making them so hot that one of these peppers went on the Guinness World Records. No matter how tough you think you are, this pepper will make you cry like a baby. That hurts, Ed. Oh, it's starting to really go now. Oh. Now, if you want to make one yourself, all you need to do is take pollen from one hot pepper, then put it in the flower of another hot pepper. With the right combination, you can strike gold. Breeding a new pepper can take years. Even though it's simple crossbreeding, it's gonna take eight to 10 years to get a stable pepper if you succeed. Now Ed wants to make his peppers even hotter. Not to beat the world record, but to save lives. Peppers have an amazing chemical in them called capsaicin that has awesome health benefits, such as with digestion and with heart disease. That's right, this little pepper is more than just a little something to put on your food. Ed's peppers are being used by scientists to help children with obesity and in some cases contribute to cancer research. The chemical compound capsaicin also affects a cancer cell. It causes an autoimmune sequence that destroys the cell. And there's lots of information on the internet to back that up. Ed's story shows us that sometimes all it takes to spice up your life is one single hot pepper. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.